we have here phrasal verbs. We are going to look at their meanings and then use them in sentences. Number one, set out. The phrasal verb set out means to begin, to commence. Let us have a sentence. She set out to break Guinness Book of Records on blinkless gaze. In other words, she began to break Guinness Book of Records on blinkless gaze. Blinkless gaze means to continuously stare at something without blinking. Next, settle for. The phrasal verb settle for means to accept, to tolerate. Let's have a sentence. He decided to settle for an annual salary of 2.5 million naira. In other words, he decided to accept an annual salary of 2.5 million naira. Number three, show up. The phrasal verb show up means to appear, to arrive, to attend. Let's have a sentence. He refused to understand why I didn't show up for his birthday party, which means he refused to understand why I didn't attend his birthday party, or he refused to understand why I didn't appear for his birthday party. Next, spell out. The phrasal verb spell out means to explain, to clarify. Let us have a sentence. The manual spelled out the safety precautions in details. In other words, the manual explain or clarify the safety precautions in details. Number five, shake off. The phrasal verb shake off means to overcome, to dismiss. Let us have a sentence. Ensure you shake off your anxiety before the interview commences, which means ensure you overcome your anxiety before the interview commences. Number six, touch on. The phrasal verb touch on means to mention, to address, to discuss. Let's have a sentence. The speaker touched on the problems of corruption in Nigeria, which means the speaker mentioned or addressed the problem of corruption in Nigeria. Number seven, take out. The phrasal verb take out means to remove, to eliminate. Let's have a sentence. The bad eye was taken out by the eye surgeon, which means the bad eye was removed by the eye surgeon. Number eight, step down. The phrasal verb step down means to resign, to abdicate. Let's have a sentence. She stepped down as chairperson to pursue her MSc program, which means she resigned as chairperson to pursue her MSc program. Lastly, number nine, sign up. The phrasal verb sign up means to enroll, register, or join. Now that you've known the meaning, now you kindly use sign up in a sentence in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching.